Hey, what's up? It's uh, TJR12 here. Just want to—I want to show a couple of knives that I have, and another item, actually, it's a flashlight. Uh, this, this knife right here. So it's a boot knife. First knife I ever bought that I actually still have. I picked this thing up in about 1974, 75 range. I can't remember. Uh, got this from West Palm Beach at like an indoor flea market. This guy always had this booth set up there and he's almost like a prepper guy, kind of guy. He always had a, a lot of surplus, you know, military surplus and all kinds of cool odds and ends. Uh, I got this thing. This is a uh, it's made by Valor of Miami. Stainless steel 440 blade. This handle is actually steel of some kind. I don't know what's going on inside here. It's probably epoxy down there or something. I don't know. But I've used this a lot. You can see the blade's pretty worn out. It's hard to sharpen, but I think it's kind of cool. Handle small. I was younger when I bought it. My hand actually felt a little bit better. I've gotten bigger. Uh, leather sheath. The clip on the back. Uh, I looked online. I googled Valor, Valor knives and all kind of stuff. There appears to be still a Valor in Miami. It looks like a wholesale company now. I don't know if it was back then, but it is now. So they wholesale uh, knives and guns and all kind of odds and ends. Anyways, my boot knife. Um, another knife I'm going to show you. There's really nothing special to it. It's a, it's a K bar, which is really nothing special. Um, I bought this about 1988 in the PX at uh, Camp Pendleton, California. What I've done to this, though, and actually, this is not even the original sheath. I got it somewhere. I've acquired this somewhere along the line. It's actually better than the original. But uh, I've actually customized it a bit. I sharpened this top edge, uh, lanyard hole. You drill right through the uh, palm. You just put a hole right through there. I melted beeswax and I mixed in some uh, leather uh, conditioner kind of stuff. Mixed them all together and I stuck this in there. Let it soak. So this is pretty much saturated. A little bit extra wear, wear protection with the weather, you know, getting wet and so forth. Try to add some more life to it and wearability. Really haven't used this. I kind of did all that, and I really never used this knife. Kind of a keepsake, I guess. But it's ready to go. It's like sharp. I've sharpened it pretty good. Something to have. I got this flashlight. Picked this up in the Marine Corps too. This is actually a uh, pilot's flashlight. Actually, it's stamped on there somewhere. It says flashlight, pin light style, pilot's. It's got numbers, like part numbers, or I guess your uh, NSN numbers and so forth. But it's kind of cool. It's got two AA batteries. Um, it's like an aluminum tube. Got the clip on there. Really long lanyard you can put around your neck. Um, it's got a you push in the button in the back. Push in, light comes on. Hang on a second. Oops. Yep. I don't know, I got it on the red lens. It's got a red lens. Regular bulb. You flip this little lever. Gives you a red lens. Um, you can push it in. Turn this little barrel right there. It locks it on. Kind of a, it's a, it's a two-handed knife. Kind of a hassle, but this is what was available to pilots back then. I'm sure they don't use these anymore. Times have changed. Um, you take this cap off. A spring. That's the bulb. Two AA batteries. You can take off the back cap. You got a hollow tube with a push button. That's all there is to it. 
but yeah it's kind of a hassle because you if you want to keep them on you gotta you push in on that you lock this little barrel right there to keep it in then you return it to release it you know, I thought it was kind of cool I used this a lot when I was younger when I first got it it's about, oh, probably 1985 or so I picked this thing up and it's unusual the batteries last a long time in this thing almost like an LED but it's not it's just an old flashlight battery anyways that's my stuff for today Thanks for watching.